when you talk about America's needs, you have to talk first about our open border. Congressional negotiators were able to hammer out a deal to complete their final spending bill. Lawmakers remain in a time crunch as they work to avoid a partial government shutdown just days away. This comes after days of lengthy discussions and disagreements over border security policies. We're hearing from the American people of all parties and all persuasions in all cities and all states who feel this acutely. They understand the catastrophe at the border is affecting everyone. Finally, Congress came to an agreement on how to allocate funds for the Department of Homeland Security. Lawmakers now only have four working days to pass some sort of spending legislation through both chambers of Congress. The House typically required bill text to be available to lawmakers for 72 hours before it can be brought to the floor for a vote. If the 72-hour rule is adhered to, that means that the spending deal wouldn't reach the Senate floor until Friday, March 22nd at the earliest, just hours before the deadline. Making things more complicated, a substantial number of House Republicans have already come out in opposition to the spending deal even before it's been released. Representatives Bob Good and Chip Roy, along with 41 other House Republicans, sent a letter to their GOP colleagues to oppose any spending legislation that doesn't include core components of the party's signature border security bill. After the White House threatened to veto the continuing proposal over the weekend, House Republicans urged the Biden administration to enter into negotiations between congressional Republicans and Democrats.